Show me the mummy. <laughs> How wrapped up were you into this movie? <laughs> oh, man. Let's uncover this classic. Let me choke your sarcophagus. <laughs> um, denial, don't be in denial about the review we're about to do. <laughs> A uh, mirror, mirror on the wall. Mm. Who's the pharaohest of them all? Oh, that's good. That's a wrap. <laughs> not, not yet. Anyway. So, oh, we have to do the review first. So we watched The Mummy, starring Brendan Fraser, not the Tom Cruise mummy mm. of recent years. Although that would have been fun to watch too, mm. with all the, with all the, ah, ah, <laughs> ah, <laughs> in the plane. That's my favorite part of any of these mummy movies. <laughs> but today we watched the Mummy, starring Brendan Fraser, not the Tom Cruise Mummy, <laughs> Brendan yeah, Fraser yeah. one. In 1999, they wanted to make sort of like an Indiana Jones adventure, it seems, and uh, really failed at it. So let's get started. Whoa, what? <laughs> failed. Uh, failed. Here's, here's uh, where we're going to get in some t- into some hot takes. Um, so people really love this movie. Mm. I do. I remember... I remember watching this a while back. I mean, I watched it as a kid or whatever, and I was like, yeah, it's fine. And then I watched it a while back, and I remember not really liking it and being like, this is like a movie that I should like. Hmm. Yeah, that's feels, why I chose it. Feels like a Keegan type of movie. Yeah, that's yeah. why I chose it to rewatch, because I'm like kind of in denial over how I felt back then. Hmm. And we can get into it more. Sure. And kind of and everything but like I kind of feel like I don't like it even more what <laughs> than I did last time what <laughs> but I, I know that's a hot be, take yeah. I thought this was going to be a full on love fest This I thought this interview would be like yes 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 this movie is fantastic yeah but Try. I sit here in awe well let's just start with one of the major things okay and I'm not even going to be like you know, it's 1999, whatever. But the effects are, like, really bad. <laughs> okay. Like, even they for the time. They could be worse. But even for the time. I like, don't know. I, I mean, actually... I, I was going to say the opposite. Really? I actually, I actually I thought they hold up. They're not great. They're not good. But... but yeah. The story, I liked the story, and I thought that the story shone out, outshone the graphics. Really? But I will say, okay, so in the beginning of the film, mm-hmm. when it's in ancient Egypt, those were pretty bad. <laughs> those ones were pretty bad. Because, <laughs> like, like, the whole setting was in, like... Yeah, it yeah. was, like, just mm-hmm. in the computer. And that was kind of... It's like a could have easily video made game. a little model. Yeah. It was kind of... That was kind of the way. 1999 was, yeah. like... That was the era of, oh, we can do all this stuff with computers but like when now. I, but when I think about, like, that year, that was when Phantom Menace came out. Sure. And Which The Matrix... Is, which both those effects are like those still hold up a bit at least. But those were like on the top cutting edge of. Uh, so is this? This was made by Universal. Mm. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> it's not Lucas. But I, I feel like it's I I don't know. In my mind, I feel like it's forgivable. Yeah, I, I, I forgave it. The first scene's pretty bad. I feel like it would be more forgivable if it was like. I don't know, like more interesting. Okay. I did like some of the mummies looked good yeah like there was some there was some good cgi on some movies but then there was some really bad cgi mm. with the mummies and like yeah well like the some of the action shots yeah. are pretty like rough and then there's like a part where like there's actual people in mummy suits yeah. run around and i'm uh, like just keep doing this yeah. this looks yeah. good was, well yeah. that's the thing it's like you i think studios were wanting to utilize the technology at the time because I don't know how much like money they would save with CGI versus practical effects. How much mummy they would save, 
And then, like, also the Beatles are just, okay. like, moving way too fast, way Listen, too man. shiny. And then, like, too shiny? Yeah. They're mythical, they're yeah. mythical no, no, creatures. No, like, shiny as in, like, they, they don't have, like, any real Oh, there's light. no, like, light, real light hitting them? Yeah. yeah. Like, you can tell they're CGI. Sorry, like, I, have, I got offended right you now. You did. <laughs> I yeah, was like, taking this they're, too hard. Uh, they're scarabs. <laughs> they got shiny backs. Yeah, I get it. They're just, they're <laughs> also moving way too fast, so, like, it doesn't feel real. Like, but okay, it's about a mummy. So there's this movies so? about a mummy. Yeah. You're supposed to be scared of those. Like those beetles have a couple. They moments. terrified me when I was a kid. Yeah, when you were a, a okay. Kid. So let's, let's talk about the scene where he goes up his. You can. He goes up him. <laughs> yeah, what is going through his arm, dude? That's that... pretty creepy. But yeah, it's pretty bad graphic. Yeah, wise. like, I, uh, there was a part where they like, where it looked kind of bad, but they at least like did some sort of. Um, practical where they lifted his sleeve up a little bit so uh-huh. it looked like it was moving up yeah and I was like that was good like I like I can forgive that because they actually like and like when it goes over his eye I'm like up into his brain <laughs> <laughs> like it's like there's some okay stuff That's but, like, guy. but like I, I don't know I just that was a major thing that like I was just like wow cause like yeah, we can get into more because I have plenty of other things that I want to talk about. But. Okay, yeah, let's talk about like maybe the story or the. Well, I just want to say that okay. this movie, Prince of Egypt, and Stargate, were like the three movies that really got me into like Egyptology and like Egyptian mythology. Mm-hmm. Like this movie was a pretty big. Yeah, I love like, Egypt I, stuff. I watched this movie a lot with, with my friend. I love those Galen. boys. Shout out to Galen. I thought you said gay man. <laughs> that was. Did you why call, do you have to make fun of him? That? <laughs> no, because I wasn't him? a jerk. Did you <laughs> okay? bully your friend gay man? No. We used to call Keegan Keegan. Because he was he was he was Irish. His name was Galen McGinley. Okay. Uh, yeah. That's cool. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Come on. Well, I mean, so is gay, but. <laughs> <laughs> um, we would. We watched that all the time, like both of them. We watched like the double feature, mm-hmm. uh, like on like summer days when we were bored. We <laughs> when you were bored and sweaty. We were bored, bored, sweaty boys just <laughs> watching the Mummy on a hot day, watching movies about the desert. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, so it's so as you don't feel it's as hot. Then we're like, like oh, well, we're at least not in the man, desert. Man, it's really hot. We're looking for the Mummy right now. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually kind of one of the things that I didn't like about the movie. They are all on their camels and horses in the desert, and they had no supplies with them. They need water. <laughs> so that's, that's what you did. Fair, I guess. <laughs> uh, so this is about the mummy. It's about the mummy. <laughs> this movie. I w- how'd you come to that conclusion? They go to a desert and they find a mummy. They bring him back to life on accident, and then he terrorizes them. And like, and and then then they, then they do other things. Pretty yeah. vanilla as far as mummies go. That's know? what I mean. Like yeah. it's so straightforward and like there's nothing exciting. But I think they did it really well. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. a fun little adventure. It's kind of like a serial. It's kind of like an Indiana Jones type esque. Yeah. Know, Saturday morning. It's, it's trying to be that. I understand yeah. that. I just didn't really care about any of the characters. None of them, like, really really that interesting. Tell me this. Brendan Fraser's just going around sexually assaulting <laughs> what's-her-face. Oh, okay, so that's actually um, my... She liked that, so... <laughs> well, that's she the was other like, thing why... about... He was also going to die the first time, Yeah, so... so... It would have not counted if he died. <laughs> it would have not counted. <laughs> so I was going to say, actually, when I saw this and I saw her, I was like, that's a Keegan girl. Is that a Keegan girl? Like, one that you would be interested in? I was. I liked her when I was a kid. Yeah. Okay. I had a crush on her. Yeah, that's definitely a Keegan girl. She's very, she's bookish, but she's like, you know. Well, the thing with her is that they try to make her all like, she's, she's, she's book smart. She knows Egypt language and all that. Yeah. But then like, she just becomes a damsel in distress by the end of it. Well, I mean, it's just the kind of genre. <laughs> but like, well, but it's I've... like they're trying to subvert that, but then they don't. And then, so it just kind of feels mm-hmm. like... A half-assed way to be like, oh, we have a strong female character. No, we don't. I don't know. I think it's more of like she kind of gets in over her head, because why, why Brendan Fraser Brendan warns Fraser her, get... like, yeah, the you man. Know, there's nothing there but evil. 
<laughs> when they're on the well, because he's been there, obviously. Yeah, he experienced he it. She doesn't but know. But why can't he she get just... in over his head? He, he does. Did. He does in yeah. the beginning of the film. In the beginning. Yeah, yeah, he almost dies, and she saves him, and that's why he goes back with her and all that. We we know this. He's you know? the big brave hero. She's the one who knows. Listen, stuff. he's a he's a he's a debonair man with a checkered past and. She's a good girl French who's foreign trying region. to make her mark in the archaeological world. Yeah, and... but she's just so goofy she pushes down the bookcases. <laughs> 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 and then her brother is, he's, he's like... He's kind of greedy, but he's like, he you know... He does desecrate the grave. Okay. Greedy with a heart of gold. Yeah. He was okay. They yeah. Got, they got British accents. It's cool. <laughs> I think they are Brit- just oh, British. That's, that could be, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's talk about the action. Because my one of my biggest things, especially with modern movies, is like uh, the action not being exciting. Um, but like this movie, I felt like the action wasn't exciting because all it was was them just shooting things. And not being able to kill them. That's pretty freaky. But, like, that's all it is. It's them just shooting. Okay. There's no, like... There's, like, a sword fight toward the end. But, like, other than that, gotcha. all the action is just shooting. And even, even like, the sword fight bit, I was, like... When he grabbed the sword, I was, like, ooh, here we go. Finally, something different. Yeah. That was... And then that, it that, wasn't even that great. That was kind of a... Almost, like, a visual joke with, like, the Americans. Mm. Is that all of them Yeah, that was, that was, a, that was yeah. a funny moment. Yeah. Um, I do. I like the the group of Americans, I like the too. treasure hunters. Um, I like kind of their their vibe. All of them don't they don't all have like an archetype, but all of them are kind of like they they're all like this, have kind they're of all like own, the same archetype, but just like tweaked a little bit. Yeah, they all kind of have their own little personality, yeah. micro personality. Yeah. Um, I like that you know they go in and you know the sort of treasure or whatever they find is the. Um, the jars, the organ jars, and they split it up amongst each other, and then that's they're the ones that kind of get are taken out in sequence. It's kind of like, like Harry that Potter. Too. They they are all the different uh, the Horcruxes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just like I was just so bored. Like I just I don't know. Maybe it's because I watched like all the Indiana Jones movies over the last couple months, Maybe. and so I'm like. So I'm like, ooh, this is how cool action is, and like, it suffers by comparison. Sure, I am. sure, but like, it's still co- like I I love Egypt stuff. I love like scary mummy stuff. Like, yeah, I'm into that, but I wasn't into this movie like at all. Mm. Like it was like I was sad. I wasn't like excited to hate it. <laughs> I was jazzed when I wa- was watching this. I'm like, yeah, yeah. like uh, the pilot, like with the the plane and like oh, yeah. the just the I don't I like Brendan Fraser's character I think he was I think he's funny and like you know kind of he's Indiana Jones-esque but not like obviously not as good but yeah, it just doesn't feel like new, there was any nuance to him he was just kind of the cool adventure guy I feel like which this is movie, like what Indiana Jones could have been if there wasn't nuance to his character I feel like he could have been if they had like continued the series more like closer to when they were done like after last crusade i think brendan fraser could have might have been able to pick up indiana jones if they had handed it off but maybe see that i just don't think he has the acting chops but he's got the handsome chops he's handsome yeah give him that i feel like he could have anyone can be handsome i think not me i feel like given the right director he could have shown more range yeah, you know, can we talk about Benny? Benny is he the sidekick. Benny? Benny is the um, the weasel yeah. character. Oh, the guy who's supposed to be Egyptian but is clearly white. <laughs> is he? I don't know. Yeah, he looks okay. Egyptian enough. That's close enough. <laughs> yeah, because they put a little uh, well, <laughs> put a little like uh, eyeliner, eyeliner on him. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, hold on, hold on, hold on. I like Benny's character. Okay. Because he's like unapologetically sleazy Mm. he is just trying to find like the best like 
way to get rich or like survive or whatever. He's a cockroach. You mm. know what I mean? Kind of a, a beetle. He's a scarab. He's, sure. One of my favorite scenes is when um, Imhotep like corners him and he pulls out the Latin cross and he's like praying to God. That, I, I like that. He yeah, like yeah. then he pulls out all of his like <laughs> yeah. holy symbols and cycles through. I think it's like Islam and then like Buddhism. Yeah. But then and he then, goes back to. But then he goes to. Then he goes to Hebrew. He yeah. goes to Judaism, which is which, like technically. It's a Christianity is an offshoot of Judaism, right? But I just thought I just thought that was kind of funny. But but I I like that because it's like it's a great joke. Yeah, yeah. I think because it shows his character as being like he's gonna he's gonna like pray to whoever he can to like survive or yeah. like get what he wants. It's also a good vehicle for him being like a servant of Imhotep. Because, you know, we, like, the language of the slaves, that's what Imhotep is like. He's like, oh, you can speak a language that I speak. I can, we can use that. You know, like, I can, you can help me out. So I thought that was, that's one of my favorite scenes because it's so, like, it ties into the story, but it's also, like, a really funny visual gag. Yeah, yeah, that's a good moment. I thought his death was really lame. I was waiting for, like, a really good death for him. But they all, but they just cut away, and I was like, "You had like more gruesome deaths for like side know. characters." I than, I think like, the way that they killed them was good. But they should have shown he, it. They, yeah, they should have shown it. That's he what gets, I mean. Well, it's PG thirteen. They showed gruesome, like I sort guess. of gruesome deaths earlier, like people on. getting like the yeah. life sucked out of them. Yeah, I think the way that they did it, what like, you know, he gets trapped in the room, and like they like start swarming him, and then like the light is snuffed out like his life mm. is snuffed out. And he is surrounded by what he chose was cherished the most. Exactly. The he, dies, he dies yeah. with like with his treasure within reach. So close yet so far. Yeah. It just wasn't satisfying. Mm. Like I, it was like... I, I think it's it was satisfying like, enough for me. It was a good setup for his death. Like I was like, ooh. And then all these CGI bugs come running at him at the speed of light and then and then it just goes dark. Let's put you in the director's chair. What would you have his death be? I would have had one beetle at a time coming up onto his skin and then going into him and then he starts screaming because they're like starting to eat him from the inside. And then they come and out then, of his mouth. And then, yeah, then they come out of his mouth while like... And out of his eye sockets. And out of his... But like I like moments in this. It's just like the overall, like the presentation and like the action and characters. I just I like didn't really get into. I just have fun with this movie, dude. Yeah, I, it's I just actually, a fun movie. I'm you know, I and, and I'm I'm phone. I understand that I'm in the minority. I just like. Well, why'd you pick it? Because I because I just I already said that you just yeah. wanted so badly for it to be good. Yeah, what you thought last time you watched. Yeah, it. last time I didn't really care for it, hmm. and so I was like, "Well, I feel like this is a movie I should like." Yeah. What did you guys think about the Scooby Doo gag? One of the Americans he gets his glasses off. He's like, "I can't see oh, without my yeah. glasses." I actually i i i like I that think part of that too. Scooby Doo, not the Scooby Doo part, <laughs> but like. Um, after he gets his like eyes and his tongue taken out and they're in Cairo mm. they like he's visited by a prince mm. and it ends up being Imhotep and I just that guy gets like a double dose of yeah. bad luck and just like <laughs> unfortunateness but like I when uh, Benny is interpreting you know Imhotep and he's like I he wants to thank you for your eyes and your tongue. And you just see, like, ho, ho, ho. And then he gets, like... Yeah. Well, that was the thing about that, too, is, like, I... It, it should have been more menacing, but it was, like, played off as kind of comedic. And so I was like... Yeah. I don't know. There's, there's just a lot of factors in this that I, like, almost liked until, like, it just played out and it was either just wasn't satisfying... Or it was played like for comedy, and when it could have been like a good scary moment, 
or like they could have continued a good scary moment but then just didn't are you know. would you consider this a horror movie no because i would it's an adventure it's an adventure movie. it's like a thriller not even would, a thriller. i would say it's like an action it's more movie. of like a it's an action movie yeah but there are there are like not horror elements but there are like there are horror elements. I mean, I wouldn't consider any of the Indiana Jones movies horror movies, but no. they definitely there's like there's scenes in those that are as horrific as the like the whole movie of this. Yeah, but the the mummy is considered a universal like horror right monster. Yeah, this is definitely just like an action movie. All right, <laughs> one second. <coughs> I'm good. All right. Sarcophagus. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> there he is. I got you, baby. Thank you. What are you guys going to give this one? We'll start with Chris. I'm going to give it a thumbs up. Mm. I really love this movie. It's nostalgic, yes, but watching it now, like I, I, tr- I did try to watch it objectively, and I think it's just a fun, it's just a fun, like, adventure movie that, has some some pretty some pretty great gems in it, so I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. I it's been a while since I've seen this movie, and so re rewatching it is pretty fun. I had some fun with it. I didn't really think it was like the greatest or most in depth film, but it was a good little adventure. This is a weird situation. Yeah, it's usually like an opposite. Like someone loves their movie that they chose, and the other two are like, eh. But uh, I'm giving, gonna give it a thumbs down. You're uh, breaking out of it. I just, yeah, I just wanted more from this movie. Thought it was like the most standard adventure movie that had very boring action, not very good effects that didn't really hold up. There are a few fun moments that I can pick out here and there, but overall, I just was. It's it's more like. The main movie itself, I'm like indifferent on, where and, and then like the specifics, like action and like moment, some moments, I'm like very like like upset about. Uh-huh. <laughs> I guess, like overall, I'm kind of just like whatever. Like, you know, people like this movie, I don't. Like, yeah, it's whatever. We can still be friends. Yeah. Yeah, I hope so. I hope we can be friends. My, the audience that watches our videos. I think it really is only our friends who watch at this moment. <laughs> Maybe some family members. If you're not our friends, please comment below <laughs> and tell us why you're watching tell us, our videos. Tell us why you're not our friends. <laughs> yeah, tell us can... why you're not our friends, why you're watching our videos, and what you thought of The Mummy. And tell me I'm wrong, because I know I'm wrong. It's just... Put a beetle in your butt.